welcome back or welcome to my name is Michelle and I'm going to tell you a story today. I want to tell you a story about how God answered a prayer for me. I believe in God. I believe God can answer prayers. I believe if you pray the right way, God will answer your prayers and God will answer all your needs. So let me tell you how God answered my prayer. This is about an ex-husband. All right. I, I was married for a short period of time to a man that I made a bad, really bad choice, really bad choice. And he was just, after we got married, he changed. He was like, I don't, it was just a bad marriage. It was a bad marriage. Now, my family is loving and caring and will do anything for you. My parents and my kids and, and everybody, everybody. Well, this ex-husband of mine started calling my family the Red Cross. He referred to my family as the Red Cross because they would help anybody. If you needed money, they'll give it to you. If you needed a ride somewhere, they'll take you. If you need, that's just the way my parents are. My parents are loving and kind and that's the way they are. So my ex-husband, anytime we talked, oh yeah, you mean the Red Cross? Meaning my family, meaning my family. Well, that marriage got really bad. It got bad enough that I needed to get out of it. And I knew I needed to get out of it. But I tried everything in the world to make it work. Uh, you know, I tried and counseling and the whole thing and it just wasn't working. And it was getting worse and he was treating me worse and he was treating me bad. I'll make a video about that someday. But he referred to my family as the Red Cross. Oh, the Red Cross. Well, I was praying one day, God, what do you want me to do? Well, not one day. I've been praying all along. God, what do you need me to do? I only want to do what you need me to do. What do you need me to do? Well, one day it got really, really bad and I was at my mom and dad's house and I was there for a while and I'm like, I don't know, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And my parents never told me what to do. They just said, you need to do what you need, feels right for you. Now I'm draw now it's time for me to go home and I'm thinking, oh, no. oh, I get to go home to this man that calls my family the Red Cross that's treating me like crap and I don't know what to do. I'm praying, I'm leaving the area where my parents live, driving down the main road where all there's, there's fast food restaurants and there's different places and everything and I'm praying and I'm praying and I'm praying, God, what do you want me to do as I'm driving? Would you know, I happen to look up in my rear view mirror and I kid you not, I kid you not, in a parking lot, the Burger King parking lot. It was actually Burger King parking lot. Sitting in the exit, I look in my rear view mirror, is the biggest Red Cross truck I've ever seen in my life. It was so long. I'm like, that is, I have, what? I've never seen a truck like that before. And it's a Red Cross truck. You know, and then I look and I'm driving and I look back in my rear view mirror and it's gone within second boom it's gone it's just gone and I'm thinking what where did it go it's not on the road I didn't have time to pull out I don't know and I'm like God just answered my prayer go back to the Red Cross my family God just answered my prayer and I had peace I had peace come over me like just peace. It, I had a peace about me. I knew at that moment that I was supposed to go to the Red Cross, which is my family. So I called my mom and told her what happened, and I said, I'm moving back in. And they're like, okay, because they knew how bad it was. And I said, I, I need to come back to the Red Cross. <laughs> so... I went home and took care of everything I needed to take care of. God answered my prayer and my life turned out so much better, so much better right now because God answered my prayer. He showed me the biggest, longest Red Cross truck I've ever seen in my life. I've never seen one anything like it. I've never seen anyone. This happened a couple years ago. Never in my life have I seen it again, but because normally they have the smaller truck. This was that long 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 i can't explain how big this truck was so god answered my prayer so keep praying god can answer your prayer 
and it's going to be in ways that you don't expect when you don't expect it how you don't expect it i didn't expect to see a big red cross truck in in the, my rear view mirror but i did <laughs> but i did so keep praying keep praying years and years and years and years ago when i was a mom I, well i'm still a mom when my kids were at home I started praying, you know, God, I want to be a grandma that watches her grandkids. I want to be that grandma that can stay home and watch, have her grandkids over. And when my daughters call and say, hey, can you, can you watch them this day? Sure, bring them over. Or I, I just want to be that grandma that's able to do things with her grandkids. So life goes on and, you know, that's my little prayer. And I... I got divorced from, well, my ex-husband left me, and I'm thinking, oh, okay, pick myself, move on, I'm doing that, and I'm thinking, oh, now I'm going to have to, I'm going to always have to work. I'm always going to have to work because I'm a single mom, and I, I just, I just wanted to watch my grandkids for my daughters when they're working or when they're doing something. So along comes my new husband. He is awesome. He is wonderful. He is terrific. He has a nice job. He he's just loves my grandkids. He loves me. Uh, you know, he would do anything for any of us. Then along came my back problems. And I'm thinking, oh, crap. Now what am I going to do? I can't move. I can't move. I can't get off the couch. I can't get out of bed. I am so sick. I've got my daughter now calling me saying that, can you, I can't watch them. I can't do it. I couldn't even hold the babies when they were babies. I couldn't even hold them. I couldn't pick them up. My back hurt so bad. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do any of it. And I felt tremendous guilt for not being, just feel, everybody wants to be able to pick up their grandkids. Everybody wants to be able to do that and hold them and hug them. I couldn't do that. And I felt tremendous mom guilt because it's like, I have to tell them no. I can't watch them. I got to tell them no. And that hurt me so bad. You, that hurt so bad. And then I had the mom guilt on top of that. Well, after my disability was approved, I got really sick, and I'm still having to tell them, no, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. Found a back surgeon, had my, had my, I have a rod in my spine, had that put in, had my second neck fusion put in, still can't do it, can't pick them up, still can't really pick them up, can't move, can't do it well. It took me a year of healing. I had to heal for, oh, it took me about a year to heal from all of this. And now I can watch them. And now I can watch them. God answered my prayer. I can, I can keep my grandkids now. I can keep them overnight. You know, they're a little bit older so they can get their own stuff. I can watch them in the day. I can watch them if my daughters just drop them off because they want to do something. I can, I can do that. My disability was approved, you know, and if you want to see that video, I posted that a little bit ago, or I'll link it down below how my disability got approved. And God answered my prayer. I'm at home, and I'm capable to watch them. Now, mind you, after they go home, because of my back surgery and my neck surgery, I normally have to go to bed or spend the next day in bed. But while I'm laying there, I'm thinking, I am so thankful that I had the energy for that five hours or six hours or two hours or however long it was to watch my grandkids. I just, I am, it's okay that now I have to lay in bed and recover because I got to keep them. So God answers prayers. It may not be the way you want it, because I certainly didn't want to have back surgery. Didn't want to do that. Didn't want to go through all the crap I went through. Didn't want to, don't want to have to deal with this. But I'm thankful that I, I can watch them now. I am so thankful that I can help my daughters. I don't have the mom guilt anymore. And I'm thankful. So, keep praying. 
God will answer your prayers. You pray. Alright, subscribe if you like my videos. Come back for more. And I'll see you next time. Bye.